Hey everybody, welcome to the Irish Banjo Channel. In this week's video we're going to be working on the tune Crowley's Reel No. 2. Uh, it's a reel in D major. Uh, where I first heard it was on Kieran Hanron's solo album where he actually he, he plays it as a set of Crowley's Reel No. 1 followed by Crowley's Reel No. 2. Um, I've known Crowley's Reel 1 forever but I never actually got around to learning Crowley's Reel No. 2 until fairly recently but uh, it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful tune. It's become one of my absolute favorites. It's just so, so lovely. Um, so I'm going to play for you at a slow-ish, medium tempo twice, and then I'm going to break it down phrase by phrase so that you can learn it by ear, and then at the end I'll play it through again so you can play along, and then I'll play it through a third time a little bit faster to close out. So here we go. A. This is a basic version of Crowley's Reel number two. tune. Uh, if you noticed, the A part the second time through is very, very different from the A part, the first half of the A part. Um, it's almost like it has a an A1 part and an A2 part and then a B part that's just repeated twice. Um, so there's a little bit more melody to learn in this tune than there is in your more sort of generic uh, session tune, but it's not too bad. Um, and of course it is only a two-parter, so, you know, even the worst two-parter is better than, you know, a fancy version of the Mason's Apron, for instance. Uh, so let's break it down. The first phrase is... Again. One more time. And the second phrase is one more time. So put those two together and we have phrase after that is one more then the last phrase of the first half of the A part is together and we have the first half of the A part. So let's play the whole first half of the A part three times through. Now we 
come to the second half of the A part, which is pretty different from the first half. Um, there's one phrase that is sort of evocative of the first half, but for the most part it's a different melody. Uh, so the first phrase of the second half of the A part is... Again. second phrase in the second half of the A part. Once more. So I put those two phrases together and what we get is Then the third phrase in the second half of the A part, uh, this is where it's sort of evocative of the first half. We have and then the last phrase in the A part. So if we put all that together, we get the second half of the A part. So let's play the whole second half of the A part three times. more. So this gives us the whole A part, uh, both halves of it. So let's play the whole A part uh, twice through, just, just looping right along with no stops. Uh, so here we go. For the B part, for the first phrase, we have again. Again. So the second phrase of the B part is. Let's put those two phrases together for the first two phrases of the B part. One more time. Now, 
the third phrase um, is a sort of descending scale pattern, this pattern that alternates between descending scale degrees and a, uh, a high D on the fifth fret of the A string. Uh, so the first phrase is phrase in the B part. So we put those two phrases together and we have the last half of the B part. So let's play those two. actually the whole B part. Um, it's just those two sort of simple ideas together and then it repeats. So let's play the whole B part uh, twice through with no stops. So that is actually the whole tune. Let's play the whole thing through slowly, uh, twice, and then I'll play it a little bit quicker. Uh, so whole thing, A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, somewhat slow. Let's play it uh, twice through, just a little bit faster. That's the whole tune. Um, yeah, I hope hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the tune, and uh, 
hope to see you in the next tutorial.